Are you a Python programmer looking for an easy way to run your code in the cloud? Or are you a machine learning enthusiast who wants to train models without worrying about hardware limitations? If so, you're in luck because today we're talking about Google Colab. Hello everyone and welcome to this video on Google Colab by IntelliPath. Google Colab is a cloud-based platform that provides an online environment for running Python code. It's like having your own personal Jupyter notebook in the cloud, complete with free GPU and TPU resources. But it's not just for machine learning. You can use it for anything you can do with Python. And if you're worried about losing your work, don't be. Google Colab integrates seamlessly with Google Drive, so you can save your notebooks to the cloud and access them from anywhere. Overall, Google Colab is a powerful and versatile tool that makes it easy to work with Python in the cloud. Whether you're a seasoned programmer or just getting started, it's definitely worth checking out. So stay till the end of this video to find out all about Google Colab. But before we begin, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive regular updates from us. So let us begin by talking about what is Google Colab. Google Collaboratory, also known as Google Colab, is a free cloud-based platform that provides an online environment for running Python code. It is built on top of Jupyter Notebook and allows users to write, run, and share Python code in a collaborative environment. Google Colab provides access to a free GPU and TPU making it particularly useful for machine learning and deep learning tasks that require intensive computation. With Google Colab, users can create and share documents that contain live code, equations, visualizations, and explanatory text. The documents are saved on Google Drive and can be shared with others for real-time collaboration. Google Colab also supports various popular Python libraries, including TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Keras, and allows users to install additional libraries as needed. Now let us look at some of the features of Google Colab. Google Colab is a cloud-based platform that provides a number of features to make it easier to write, run, and share Python code. Some of the key features of Google Colab are, first is free GPU and TPU resources. Google Colab provides access to free GPU and TPU resources that can be used for machine learning and deep learning tasks. This is particularly useful for tasks that require intensive computation, such as training neural networks. Second is support for popular Python libraries. Google Colab comes with many popular Python libraries pre-installed, including TensorFlow, PyTorch, Keras, and OpenCV. This makes it easy to get started with machine learning and other tasks without having to install these libraries manually. Third is integration with Google Drive. Google Colab integrates with Google Drive, which allows users to save and load notebooks and other files directly from their Google Drive accounts. This makes it easy to share files with others and to collaborate on projects. Next is live code editing and execution. Google Colab provides an interactive environment for editing and running Python code. Users can write and run code in cells, which are organized into notebooks. The output from each cell is displayed directly below the cell, which makes it easy to see the results of each command as it is executed. And finally, collaboration features. Google Colab allows multiple users to collaborate on the same notebook in real time. Users can share notebooks with others by providing a link, and changes made by one user are immediately visible to all other users. This makes it easy to work on projects with others and to get feedback on code. Now let's move on to hands-on. The first step would be to open your browser and search for Google Colab. So open the first link that you see. This will take us straight into Google Colab. As you can see, this is how your page is going to look like. So let's sign in. So after you sign in, this is how your page is going to look like. Let us click on new notebook to create a new notebook. And now we have a file open right now. So let me explain some of the features of this file. So here you can rename your notebook as per your choice. Let's say I want to call it Python Basics. So let's do that. And as you can see, all these drop down menus have multiple options that you can choose from. So let's understand this code snippet right here. So what you can do is, by clicking on code, you can create a new code cell repeatedly. So let us try using one first. And here you can see you can delete it as well. 
So let's start with a simple code. Let's say you want to print out Welcome to this session. So if you click on this button right here, it's going to run cell that is execute. So as you can see, the shortcuts are mentioned here as well. So you can either click on this button or do control enter, which will automatically execute your code. So it's going to take a while and then we see our result. So as you can see, the output here is welcome to this session, which is exactly what we've printed. So to create a new code cell, we can either click on this button or just simply control plus MB. So I'm going to just use control plus MB. And we're going to get a new code box. So after this is done, you can also choose to execute a single line or a piece of code in your code cell. So let me show you how to do that. So let's say you want to print out Hello everybody. And in the next line you want to print out Welcome to this tutorial let's say. And in another line you want to print out Let's say Google Collab Tutorial by IntelliPad. So after this is done, if you just simply press on this button or do control enter, what is going to happen is that it's going to execute all of these lines. So if we don't want that and we just want a simple or a single line to be printed, let's say I want this line to be printed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control shift enter, select the text and press control shift enter so that only the line that we want or the piece of code that we want is being executed over here. So that is great. So here you can also import libraries. So let me show you how to do that. Let's go on to a new code cell. And let's say you want to import pandas. So for that you'll just type import pandas as PD. So you can already see that it is auto suggesting. So this has been executed. So you can use all the functions that come with this library. So, and one more interesting thing is that you can see all the keyboard shortcuts that are present over here. So if you want to add a comment, you can just simply choose Control Alt M and to open a new scratch code cell or to print a previous cell. There are multiple shortcuts available that you can use. And when you open file, you can see a couple of options over here for a new notebook or to open a previous notebook or to upload a notebook. And when you come over here, you can see that you can save a copy in your drive directly or in your GitHub. So that is pretty convenient. So let's see how we can upload our drive here. So there is an option that is called mount drive. So if you click on mount drive, it's just going to show this pop-up that is going to connect us to Google Drive. Once you click that, all of your data from your drive is going to be present here. So for example, if you have multiple data sets in your drive, you can simply upload them from here or whatever Python files that you have can be also uploaded to this drive. So if we connect that, that is going to happen. So I'm just going to click on no thanks because I don't want to do it right now. So, right. So once we have clicked that, you can see that a new code cell has been opened. So this is how you can, without choosing the option, this is how you can write code to directly mount your drive. So from google.colab import drive. And we're just going to write whatever is the drive name or the folder that we want to mount from here. So that is pretty convenient. And you can not only uh, add new code cells, you can also add text here. So if you add a text cell, you can just type anything here that will just be text like this over here and let me show you how we can add a comment so by simply pressing shift 3 that is the asterisk let's say I just want to add this is a comment so obviously as we are aware the comment will not be printed in the output so as previously discussed we can also change the runtime conveniently for us so let me show you how to do that so click on runtime over here and let's say you want to change the runtime type. 
So initially it is set to none when you are just simply executing Python code. But if you are working with machine learning algorithms or deep learning, you can go ahead and change it to GPU or TPU. So this is how you do it. Just select on one of them. And when you click on save, it is going to help us in faster execution. So this is pretty much about how to use Google Colab. And I'm going to explain some of the other features. For example, you can hit refresh over here and it's just going to refresh all the data. And you can choose to show hidden files as well. That is pretty convenient. And one of the most important or useful features is that you can share this notebook. So if you click on share, you're going to get a link. So you can copy that link and set your access accordingly like how you do for your Google Sheets or Google Docs. So that is going to make it convenient for you to collaborate with others as well. So this is pretty much about Google Colab. I hope it was pretty easy to follow. So there you have it, a quick overview of Google Colab and its many features. Whether you're a student, a researcher, or just a curious programmer, there is no denying that Google Colab is a powerful tool that can make your life a lot easier. From its free GPU and TPU resources to its support for popular Python libraries, Google Colab is designed to help you work more efficiently and effectively. And with easy collaboration features and seamless integration, you can work with others and access your work from anywhere in the world. So if you haven't tried Google Colab yet, why not give it a shot? Who knows, it might just become your new favorite tool for Python programming and machine learning. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to make a career in data science, then IntelliPath has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.